Dogs are great problem solvers. When you give them problems to solve, you challenge them, you educate them, you build their confidence, and you make them happy. Dogs learn by trial and error. This video is going to show you how to teach them a few tricks and let them use their brains to figure it out. We begin with teaching a dog to push a ball with its nose. To begin with, food is placed in a bowl. Now the problem. Can you get to the food if there's a ball on top of the bowl? You are watching real-time problem solving. After finding the solution to the problem, watch how quickly the dog chooses to do it the next time. He didn't need to practice very much. We now progress to getting the dog to push a ball without the bucket underneath. By placing the cookie underneath the ball, we encourage the dog to lower his head and push. Anytime he puts his feet up on it, since this is not the behavior we're looking for, we just ignore it and go back yes. to focusing him yes. down low under the yes. ball. Yes. 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 Remember dogs learn by trial and error. By putting his feet up on the ball, he realizes yes. that's not the way to get the cookie. Eventually, the unrewarded behavior of putting your feet up on the ball will extinguish itself, and we will be left with a dog yes. that chooses to use his nose to push the ball. Yes. Good. Okay, good boy. The beauty of letting dogs problem solve is that when they figure something out, they remember it forever. Yes! Okay. Our next trick is teaching a dog to cross their front legs. We have to start with teaching a dog to pick up its front leg and to be aware that it even has front legs. Good. I begin with a cookie in my hand. I show it to the yes. dog and turn the hand upside right. down. Now the dog has to solve the problem of how do I get the cookie. Every time she puts her foot up on the back of my hand, I will turn the hand around and reward her with the treat. Yes. Good. Start. Good. Yes. The next step is to use yes. the aid of a fly swatter to encourage the puppy to put its foot on the fly swatter. Cookie is held below the fly swatter and between my hand yes. and the fly swatter. The puppy has figured out that in order to get the treat, all she needs to do is put her foot yes. on the fly swatter. Good. Yes. Good. Watch closely as I move the fly swatter to refocus the puppy's interest in the game and solving the problem. Yes. 
good. With a little more practice, the dog clearly learns that in order to get the treat, all they have to do is put a paw on the fly swatter. The fly swatter is going to help us direct the dog where to put his foot to get the cross. We want to make sure that the dog understands to put his paw on the fly swatter, whether he's in a sit or a down position. Watch closely as the dog puts its foot on the fly swatter and I just move the fly swatter over the other leg to create the cross. Yes. 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 Good. Good. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. Yes. As I start to create the behavior, I will then link it with a command. Cross. Good girl. Good girl. Watch how trial and error plays a role in the dog's learning process. Good. Okay. Cross. Yes. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of the fly swatter and help the dog do the maneuver just with a little help from my hand. Yes. Finally, I'm going to put the finished product on a cue with my feet.